What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a get ready with me trying new products video. And a lot of these products I've had sitting in a pile and I was like, you know what, this is gonna be a lot of little videos to do at one time. So let me just combine all of these products together and give you guys one video trying out a whole bunch of new things. It is an edited opinion, but you guys can see me using it like a first impressions type deal. You guys know I test out a lot of products, so I can pretty much tell you right off the bat whether or not something is good or not. And I have on a ton of new things on my face. Now I don't have everything new. I use my tried and true Anastasia Brow Wiz for my brows and I use my mascara that I normally would but most of it's all new to the market a few of the things are new to me but mostly all of it is like new launches enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys soon Our eyes I'm going to be working with the shade and like glimmer palette but because this is all shimmery eyeshadows I'm going to first start off with the original shade and light eye palette I'm going to start off with the color lattice and I'm going to dust this all over my eyelid and then I'm going to take this color, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. With the 217 brush, I'm going to fluff this in my crease. I'm going to step away from that palette until I figure out what look I want to do with this eyeshadow palette. It says that this is an eye contouring palette with 12 neutral shades. Kat Von D revolutionized the art of contouring yet again with the shade plus light glimmer eye contour palette. A unique way to contour with not only shadow and light, but eye catching dimension. Okay? So it says, experience the same neutral tones from the original best-selling Shade Plus Light Eye Contour Palette reimagined and for wearable finishes that build in intensity. So this is like a play on the original. See, this is the original matte one. With the MAC 242 brush, I'm going to take the color Porcelain. Be careful with that because if you turn it around, it looks like this color is Dune. But actually, this is the color Porcelain. And I know that because on the box, it has like the shades on them. I'm going to take this right underneath my brow as a highlight. Next I'm going to take the same brush with the color Sterling and I'm going to pop that right on the inner tear duct. Oh that's really pretty. So this is without wetting the brush or anything. Very shimmery, very pigmented. With the same brush I'm going to take the color Quartz. I want this directly on my lid. So taking it, I'm going to just pat it on my lid. I don't want it above my crease at all. And this is just straight up with no like glitter glue or any spray to make it more foiled. It's just pretty going on initially. I'm going to go over the edge of that and make sure it's blended. Then I'm going to take the color bronze, same brush, and I'm going to tap that right on the outer corner. As per usual, you guys know I always come back to my eyes after I do my face, and that's because I like to clean up underneath. But normally, I already have on foundation and all that stuff. But today, we're applying it together. For foundation, I picked up the new Bare Minerals foundation. This one is the Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation, and I got this from Ulta. This retails for $34. This has one fluid ounce of product in here, and I got the color 23 Cardamom, and this foundation has an impressive range. All of the colors look really good. There are like 30 different colors. It says that this foundation redefines what long wear means. This is a good for skin, high performance formula that blurs pores and imperfections while improving the appearance of skin texture over time. 24 hour wear and a range of natural matte finished shades. It works, it plays as hard as you do. Just one pump delivers lightweight, oil free, photo friendly, full coverage. That was a lot to say. Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation is powered by specially developed mineral lock long wear technology that blends mineral pigments with lipids naturally found in skin to lock in all day full coverage. Natural bamboo stem extract provides a smooth soft focus finish while papaya enzymes gently improve skin's texture both immediately and over time. 
This self-setting foundation is transfer resistant and color true, available from the fairest porcelain to the deepest cocoa for all of our natural beauties. So that's true. So let's go ahead and get to applying. I am actually wanting to try this with a brush first. So I have my beauty blender here in case I want to do that. So I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs The Shape brush. And so I'm gonna squirt out about three pumps. This one is a pretty liquidy foundation. And working from the back of my hand, I'm going to stipple this on my face. It looks looking pretty so far. It's a little yellow, but I don't mind yellow. I just hate orange. So this is a little yellow. The coverage is pretty. I'm gonna go in with one more pump and go over a few areas on my face where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. Coverage and the finish is beautiful. I'm not in love with the color, but for the way that it looks, I'll be willing to try to mix this with another color. For concealer, I have the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. This concealer is $30. It has 0.20 ounces or six milliliters of product in there. It says that this is a concentrated high pigment concealer that visibly brightens stubborn under eye darkness and softens hollows and tired lines in an instant. In one swipe, this highly pigmented concealer covers dark circles completely yet so lightweight that it feels like nothing on your skin. It creates a smooth, creaseless look that doesn't require setting powder. That's the second thing today that doesn't require setting powder, I don't know. Plus the water, sweat, and humidity resistant, long lasting formula wears comfortably and looks fresh and just applied all day, no budging. So I'm pumping it, I got one swipe. The applicator looks like it'll be a regular domed applicator, but it's not. So it says one swipe. This stuff is Thick. And I got the color Honey because that's the color that I always get in Bobbi Brown stuff. And this one is a lot lighter than it normally is. So I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. It's a little too thick for me. I got the color Honey and this kind of feels like Honey. Even though it's blending out really pretty with my Beauty Blender. I don't think that I would like it with a brush. But it is brightening up my under eye a lot better. I think it looks prettier on camera than it even does in real life. Bobby Brown like partially taught me how to do makeup when I was little. I used to read her books all the time. I'm not mad at it, but if you have really dry under eyes, I don't know that you would absolutely love it because it's so dry. So make sure you moisturize underneath your eyes first. Or if you have super dry under eyes, I'll probably say skip. But if you're needing like full coverage, kind of snatched my under eyes real quick. Next I have the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and this really caught my eye because anything that says ethereal in it, I want it. I feel like I told y'all that before but the word ethereal sells me every single time. So this says that this is infused with coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to help brighten and boost skin's radiance, and hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. Our silky lightweight powder sets makeup for longer wear while providing a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way. Packaging is cute. Like, this packaging is super cute. I think all loose powder should have this little stopper so you're not wasting so much powder. As usual, I'm going to dip my beauty blender in this powder and I'm going to set my under eye with that. It has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's almost yellow. It's very lightweight too. Very smooth. I wouldn't try to set my entire face with it because I feel like it'll make my foundation lighter. But as far as concealer, it did lighten it up a little. As far as like a setting powder, I don't have anything new. So I'm gonna use my Care Blend Powder by MAC. So for eyes, I just wanna add like a light black liner. I don't have a new liner, but I do have new lashes to me. They're not new on the market. I just have never tried them before. I'm going to put on 
some house of lashes these are the noir fairy light lashes while i am waiting on my lash glue to dry i may as well finish off the rest of my face i don't know how to pronounce this this is the nars board d plague highlighting and bronzing palette this is 59 dollars. it's limited edition it says that this is a groundbreaking limited edition palette with four opalescent highlighters and two sun wash diffusing bronzers so these are wet dry highlighters and the highlighters work with skin to create a universal glow as light diffusing bronzers add natural looking warmth together they create a second skin luster that amplifies and intensifies attracts opposites with sheer dimension huge big mirror and then highlighters and bronzers on the very end so two bronzers highlighters the bronzers are laguna and casino in the sun wash diffusing bronzer formula i'm going to take the bronzer first and i'm taking the darker one in the color casino this is a mac 109 brush and i'm going to see like what's up with this this is pretty i've tried these before this is performing pretty much the same way that the individual one does. So it's not going to give you super intense unless you like continuously build it up. You definitely can see like where it warmed up my face on this side versus this side. This highlighter right here is calling my name. I don't know if it's Galette or Galet. I don't know, but I'm putting it on my face. Oh. This formula just is everything. I have the trio that NARS came out with with this same like formula and I love that thing. That's pretty. So I wanna layer another one on there. Criquet, oh my gosh, these names. I'm just gonna layer that like on top. So pretty. I need a little bit of color on my cheeks but I thought I bought a new blush but I guess I did not. So I'm going to take my Afternooner palette that I love but I haven't used in so long. I'm just going to pop this coral color on my cheeks. So for lips, I picked up one of the new Pat McGrath Labs Batch Lust Matte Trans Lipsticks. I have the color 1995. So y'all know her signature are these sequins. And then the actual lipstick is in another package. Cute. I thought this was so cute online. I like had to have one. This retails for $38. I have the color 1995. It says that this is a richly pigmented lipstick that adorns lips in a lightweight veil of opaque color for a modern matte finish. It is sensually creamy, powerful pigment that evokes screen siren glamour with every application. Each shade is presented like a jewel in a black lacquered couture case fashioned with a sensually surrealist golden lip that's destined to be a cult status collectible. Oh my god, how cute is that? All in my name. I wish I could have gotten my hands on flush number three. I want that one. Let's apply. Glides on the lips pretty well. Color, it's not normally something I would go for, but I went for something a little bit different because I found my lipstick collection to be extremely repetitive. So this is the finished look. I like everything that I use today. I don't feel like I have any misses. Um, the only thing that I would probably say is the color with the bare minerals. I definitely feel like I want to tweak it. Although with everything all together, it's beautiful. The number one thing that I love that I used today was that Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. I didn't expect it to be that pretty. Like, it is absolutely beautiful. I love, like, pressed glitter eyeshadows. And it's a palette full of them. So, I'm really loving that. I'm looking forward to playing with that more. Let me know what you guys' favorite product that I used in this video was. If you all recommend me to get anything else new, leave it down in the comment section. I always am looking to try new things. Y'all know that. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Smooches. Bye.